Uh, so Mary, uh, walking into the Fargo you know, so universe, that, and, then um, that and it's third season, what was that experience like? Just incredibly exciting. I mean, I felt very lucky that I, I had two seasons to look at and and be able to put total faith in the season, knowing that I was going to be completely taken care of as an actor, that everything was going to be laid out in front of me, that was going to give me the best possible experience. And, and I could just trust in it and, and sort of take that leap and go for it and not know what all the scripts were going to be, not know exactly what the character was going to be, but know that it was going to be great. Um, so yeah, it's just incredibly exciting. Well, your character is fascinating in that she's like a Fargo femme fatale. Yes. Um, was that part of the inspiration for you? Kind of, uh, I mean, how did you find this character? You know, it, I wish I could say it was this really difficult, complicated thing, but it was just so there on the page. And I had a couple of big questions for Noah about her motives um, and her love for Ray and whether or not that was true. And also a, a few questions that just, I want to differentiate her from Peggy from last season because there are certain elements of their their drive and ambition that seem somewhat similar. Um, but once I differentiated that and I locked into the true love between Nikki and Ray, um, it just became it just kind of came alive and she came alive on the page to me in a way that was really easy to click into. And the tone is like just comes so naturally to me and I love it so much. I love I love playing this version of a femme fatale, you know, sort of um, this kind of darkly comedic, you know, sweet version of the Femme Fatale. That's been the perfect thing for me. And as, as is the case with most of the characters in the show, I mean, they don't, they don't want to get into the violent situations that they get into. I mean, they're not natural criminals. They're just kind of like in over their heads. Can you talk a bit about that? I mean, I guess Nikki has a little bit of a criminal past, so she's got it. She's, she's maybe more naturally in tune with that side of herself than some of the other Fargo characters but like you said she does get in over her head she's not a killer she's not you know she certainly didn't set out to commit any murders or anything like that but but she um, she's not against getting her hands dirty when it comes to, to doing what she thinks is right and getting what she wants out of life um, and protecting herself and her man you know um, so she's just incredibly passionate and loyal and there's a lot of really good qualities that lead to the bad things that she does yeah I think about that scene where you off the guy with the uh, yeah. air conditioner. It's both very gruesome but very funny at the same oh, time. Yeah. How do you, as an actor, find that balance between those two extremes? I guess for me it's it's not particularly hard because tonally it's what I love as a viewer. It's like dark comedy is probably my favorite thing hmm. with a little bit of sort of tragedy mixed in. Which so it's I, Fargo. That world is just it comes so naturally to me because that's the kind of stuff I've been drawn to watching my whole life, really. So I think um, it's the kind of tone that I've been trying to find and do in different ways and different projects, and yeah. then this sort of encapsulated it so perfectly. And working with Noah Hawley, what is that collaboration? So amazing. I mean. The, he directed the first episode and it was just so easy because he is so clearly saw what he wants. And sometimes that means he doesn't have to say anything because he knows that it's right, so he doesn't have to come in and meddle with it. And you can trust that and you don't go, oh no, he didn't say anything. And you're like, why? Is, is it not right? You just know that whatever he says <laughs> is spot on, is exactly what it should be. And just being able to have that kind of trust is uh, an amazing thing as an actor. Thank you so much.